What's up guys, Nick Carter here, back with another video. And if you caught my last one, you would have seen that I was able to control my Flex media server with Google Home, which was just awesome. And a couple of people have been asking how I set it up, so I thought I'd drop this quick how-to video. And yeah, let's just get into it. All right guys, so I'm at the computer, so let's get started. So I've got my MacBook hooked up to my Flex media server, which is where I'm gonna run Flex the app off of. And so I'll just get started. So I'm gonna go into Microsoft Edge browser. Don't have a go at me if you're not using Chrome. And the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is download XAMPP, which is a server hosting app thing. I'm not too sure on the technical sides of it, but we're gonna use it. This is one recommended by the guy who created the app. There are other options out there, but we're gonna go with this one. So you're gonna to wanna to go to this website link up the top here, and I'm gonna leave all this down below in the description. And then we're gonna just download XAMPP for Windows. So we're gonna download, and when it gets ready, we're just gonna run the installation folder and let that do its thing. And I'll be back when that's finished downloading. All right, so that's downloaded. So we're gonna run the installation. It's gonna be pretty straightforward. Let it do its thing. Blah, yes, 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 just go through, do all of it. All right, next, let it finish installing. So just make sure you give it access to your network because obviously it's running on the network and basically you're finished. Now it's asking me to start the control panel now. Yes, let it open that. And that should just run in the background. So if we search for XAMPP, click on that, go America, even if not in America, like me, and all you want to open is the Apache server. So we're going to click start, and that's it for now. All right, so the next part of this, we're going to want to go back to our browser, and we're going to go to the second link link down below, which is data hazards flex folder app thing on GitHub. And we're gonna to wanna to download it. So clone or download, and we're gonna download zip, just cause it's easier, more control. And we're gonna save it. I'm gonna save it just to downloads for now. I'm gonna save flex master, that's fine. Let it do its thing. Back, we're gonna go back to downloads. We're going to just extract it. What we want is this file here. So we're gonna rename this one Flex. The reason we rename it Flex is just because XAMPP is looking for a Flex folder. And we're going to copy it. See, pretty simple stuff. Go over to where XAMPP is installed, which is, as long as you installed it, as per the wizard, it's gonna be on your local disk drive. XAMPP. We're gonna to go to the htdocs folder and we're just going to paste it in there. Okay, so once you've installed Flex or copied the file across, you can restart the Apache server by just going into XAMPP control panel, just by stopping, starting it again just to reboot that server. Get out of that and back to your browser, works on Chrome as well, doesn't really matter. And we're just gonna type in localhost port 80 slash flex. This is gonna bring up the flex interface. So the rest of it's pretty self-explanatory. So it's gonna want your plex username, email, and your password. So I'm gonna enter mine in. Obviously, I don't want you all looking at that, so. That is blurred out. Wonder if I'll get the password right the first time. I always get it wrong. And it'll do its thing. So what it's doing now is connecting to the Plex server. And well, here you go. So now it's pretty much set up and working, but we still need to configure a few things. But this is the basic interface, pretty self-explanatory. So here you can type the commands in. Um, this one shows your devices, so at the moment it's, it sees my TV, but I have nothing else running on the network at the moment, but if I decide to add a device, I can re-scan for it. 
Obviously, that's the off button that's going to turn the server off. But what we want is settings. So we're going to go into settings. And here we have our IP addresses and all that lovely stuff. We can change the theme and whatnot. Webhooks is going to be for IFT control. We're not going to go into that in this video, but if you want me to, hit a comment down below. The main one we're looking at is account linking. Now, to, we do this so that we can control it with Google Home or Google Assistant on your phone. So we need to basically log into our router settings and port forward to Flex. I'm using an Asus router, so I'll show you the process for that one. Obviously, it's going to be a bit different depending on what you have at home, whether it's Netgear or D-Link or whatever, but we'll go in. So what you're going to want to do is log in to your router. Mine's router.asus.com. I'm already logged in, which is great. Down to your WAN settings. And in there somewhere, you should find a port forwarding option. Now, Google is your best friend here if you can't find that. But we go into port forwarding. And down here, I have the list. Now, Flex was already set up there, but pretty much you name it, Flex, just so you know what it is. Local IP, now this is the IP address of the machine you'll be running Flex off of, whether it's your laptop or whatever. So I'll type in mine for my media server. If it wants to work, cool. So 192.168.0.46, beautiful. Now local port, Flex runs off port 80, unless you decide to change that somewhere in the settings, I like to keep it nice and easy. So we add that, hit apply, let it do its thing. Like I said, this is gonna be a little bit different depending on your router, but more or less the same. Once that's done, pretty much set to go. So we go back to Flex. We wanna link our Google account. That's gonna bring us through to the login page on Google. And you're gonna to wanna to log in. And this is how you would set up multiple users. So if you have someone else using Google Home, they would have to link their Google account the same way as you are linking yours now. So hit next, let it log in. There you go, we've got an email. Congratulations, it's all linked, blah, 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 outstanding. Just have to get out of that now. And this all works. Now there are a few more options that you can enable in here. So you've got your flex playback settings, you can use cast devices, all that sort of stuff. Very easy to set up. I'll let you guys go into the extra settings. Now there's only one more step to take, which we're gonna switch over to the Google Home now. So, all right, so if you follow those instructions and everything went smoothly and you know, in the IT world, it doesn't always go smoothly. The next thing you need to do is either on your phone or with your Google Home, you just need to ask it to talk to Flex TV, which is very simple. So, okay, Google, talk to Flex TV. Okay, let's get Flex TV. Greetings. How can I help you? If you'd like a list of commands, okay, Google, stop. you can say. And that's it. All set up. So if you follow these instructions, it should have worked. Should work, hopefully. Um, I didn't have a problem with it. You can hook this into sonar, radar, couch potato if you want to do all those things. I won't do a video on those, but that will be found in the flex settings in the web UI. And now you can just sort of leave your computer away and, you know, talk to Flex TV. All the information for this setup is gonna be linked in the description below and the GitHub page has valuable, valuable resources on how to get this set up and troubleshoot if you're having problems. Uh, one thing to note, if you are trying to do this in Australia, your Google Home will have to be set to American English. This is Google thing, it just does not work with Australian English. Something to do with their accents, I don't know. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button down below. Hit me up in the comments if you're having a bit of trouble and I'll try to help you out. And yeah, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and support me further. Until the next one, I'll catch you guys later.